I think for businesses that make mistakes, it's very difficult to do it right. And I think the constraints on them are, number one, legal constraints, because their lawyers will tell them, don't admit guilt. Don't admit you did something wrong. That's one of them. And actually, I don't think senior execs actually know how to do it psychologically, personally. I don't think they know how to just be honest and authentic and just say, you know what? We blew it. We really made a mistake. So there's both the legal and I think the psychological constraints. But you have to say you're sorry in a very profound way and mean it. There are two reasons why I think organizations should say they're sorry. Number one, to retain their customers. That's really important. You're not going to do it if you keep making mistakes on canceling flights, for example, if you're an airline. And I think the other reason is because you always say we're concerned. Organizations constantly say we're concerned about service. We want to give you good service. You know, and if you're not giving good service, but and when it goes wrong, you don't take the hit. You don't admit it and you don't compensate for it. Until you do that, for both those reasons, you're in trouble. You're in trouble with the consumer, with the customer. From my perspective, I think how you should manage something that goes wrong in your business when it comes to apologizing is, number one, don't equivocate. Be right up front, say it direct. We made a mistake. Acknowledge your mistake, acknowledge your problem, then profoundly apologize for it, and also try to compensate the customer, the client, the whoever it is at the other end of that. So that's one of them. I think the other thing is to just be honest about it. You are, uh, if you're a senior manager of an organization, you're a customer, a client as well. Think about how you would feel if your plane was delayed 11 hours. So I think the important thing is empathize with the people at the other end who are going to be the recipients of your apology and think through how you would react if you heard what you're about to say, which is not really an apology, but a kind of puny response. And so I think basically those two are the most important characteristics.